the way a government is supposed to work is that you elect someone, presumably the president, and then he creates the policy, and the people under him, who are not elected, do the policy. Right? He creates it, they implement the policy. Um, they're supposed to have no say in it. They have the honor of serving in the government, and they do the thing, and the president makes the thing. But in 2023, it's not been a thing. It started with Donald Trump. Donald Trump hired the worst cast of characters to be part of his uh, his administration, and they have, they didn't listen to anything that he said, and there was a big issue for him, and it showed. Um, now with Biden, the problem is is that they're not just not listening to him. Right? No one was really against Donald Trump per se in in his administration. They just didn't listen to him. Um, with Joe Biden, they're actually they're on his side. They just don't like what he's saying. So if, he, for example, he says, we support Israel. They're like, no, we don't support Israel. And now they're calling for a ceasefire, which is obviously against the administration policy. Joe Biden said, there is no ceasefire for now. Israel will go and destroy Hamas. His own administration is saying, no, we want Hamas. And it's becoming a really bad look for the presidency as a whole. It's also a problem in Congress and in the Senate where these staffers are saying, we want this. And the big issue is that you have to smack and say you were not elected, you have no say. If you want to say, go and elect other people who agree with you. But until you are elected, shut the F up. That's how it's supposed to work in the government, but it's slowly changing. And with enough people, the Biden administration is, is slowly starting to listen. Especially when you have hundreds of staffers in front of the White House wearing masks, so their face, their identities are covered and saying, we want a ceasefire now. We can't have we can't handle what's happening in Gaza, even though in Sudan, as we speak, over six million people have been displaced from their homes, and over twelve million people, twelve thousand people, on a conservative estimate, have died in this in the war in Sudan. They don't care about that. All they care about is stopping Israel from defending itself, which is obviously contrary to the Biden administration policies, and it's and it's pulling down the presidency, the value of a presidency. If you can get elected, make policy. And then your own administration says, no, nah, we're not going to do it. Then what's the value of a presidency? What's the point of electing people if they anyways can't do anything? If, if let's say you have a, a person who says, you know what, I am, I am pro-abortion or I'm against abortion. Well, let's pick with the pro-abortion. I'm going to pass a law that states that we are, we are codifying abortion into the federal standard, federal, whatever you want to call it. And then the administration that he, the administration says, no, we don't like it. We are against abortion, so we're not going to implement it. And of course, the president himself is just a man. He can do nothing. Obviously, the administration has to implement what he says. And so, therefore, presidency would mean nothing. That means no one would vote anymore. It would just be anarchy. And that's slowly what it's turning to. It's turning to anarchy because politicians cannot control their own administrations. It's not just the presidency. It's not just Washington, D.C. It's happening all over America now where the politicians that were elected say things and then their administrations go and do the complete opposite or say that they disagree to the point they start yelling and screaming till the politician changes his mind. And just remember, the politicians are voted in by the people and so whatever the politician says is what the people want, at least what they voted in. And so the administrations are going against what the people want. Um, that is America today, and it really sounds like a third world country when you think about it, because that's how dictatorships work, that's how communists work, that's how socialism works. It does, it's, it's, we're, the government is not elected by the people for the people, because there is no more elected government. It's, he's just a puppet. And, uh, well, that has to change. How will it change? I don't know. I assume that Babin Newsom would have a tighter lid on it, any administration that he would run. In California, he has a tight lid on his own administration. Whatever he says passes. No one disagrees with him. No one argues. Um, Kamala Harris would do a horrific job. Even now, as vice president, she listens to anything her administration says. Literally, she caves on the the first sign of trouble, she just, yeah, I agree with whatever you're saying, even though, again, she was elected, they were not elected. And uh, Ron DeSantis definitely would have full control over his, 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 his administration. He currently has that in Florida, very, very, very tight ship in Florida. Whatever he says goes, he does what he, what he thinks is correct for Florida. So that's, those two governors are actually really good in that you, you might disagree with the policies, but they're actually really good at implementing the policies that they want to implement. And obviously Donald Trump, he has had a massive issue 
with his old administration, but recently he has learned some tricks and he has spent a lot of money and gotten a lot of really good people on board and he probably would do a better job. The problem with Joe Biden is that he's just not all the way here and there's no one to really help him in the implementation of you know, government. So who's really running the presidency? Right now it's mostly Anthony Blinken, who's actually the president of the United States. And um, obviously it's a mess because of that, because no one really knows who's in charge. Joe Biden is definitely not fully in charge. And so therefore they feel like they have the right to speak out. Of course, Kamala Harris also is in charge. That's right, they feel it right to speak out. So whatever party you are, maybe you're conservative, maybe you're Democrat, maybe you're Republican, maybe you're liberal, whatever you are, right? One thing you don't want is Kamala Harris Joe Biden or Donald Trump. If you're a Democrat, you probably want Gavin Newsom or the other independents. Cornel West is a rabid anti semite I don't I don't support you know, I don't I don't suppose you vote for him, but um on the Republican side, Ron DeSantis is basically the only real choice. So it should be a race between Gavin Newsom and Ron DeSantis. But of course, people are stupid, and so they, 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 they want administrations that can just go and say, oh yeah, you're the president, you said to do this, we're going to do other things. That's what you're going to get. That's what America's going to be. And only there's really one per one person that's going to lose out, and that bad person is you. And also you are going to subscribe, like, comment about how stupid the video sounded, but that, there would be no comment, so comment about it sounded. Also like the video, and I don't know if I said this, but subscribe, to, you know, because make me feel good of course and tell them I'm not feeling so good so you should subscribe for that too see you next video